Hey, welcome back. It's Matt Davis, and I am going to talk today about my vestibular schwannoma or acoustic neuroma. So, I've been waiting to do this video for a long time. So, I wanted to do a couple updates every now and then, and then do a year follow up, and I never got to it. Uh, so today is my year and seven months follow-up eight months Yeah, geez, okay, so today is my year and eight month follow-up from my vestibular schwannoma surgery uh, where I had uh, the tumor removed uh, a lot's gone on since then. I mean the last video I still really didn't have a lot of control of my face um, I've gotten a lot of that back. Yeah, you know, it's still not perfect, but it's livable, and that's really all that matters. Um, I don't notice um, any problems that affect my day to day. There's a couple things that are weird, like when I when I blow up a balloon, my eye shuts. Uh, it's mostly my right eye shutting, <laughs> but uh, when I when I blow air out hard or I uh, drink through a straw. Um, also, when I'm tired, I notice that it, my eye just kind of gets more droopy. Generally speaking, I feel good about about my facial control, so um, that's that's livable. One thing that I um, deal with every day is my hearing loss. So I lost my hearing in my right ear when they took the tumor. Uh, it was already affected by the tumor stretching the nerve. You know, I've learned some tricks just to kind of feel more normal. Uh, if I sit at a table with family or friends, I try to sit on the right corner so that my left ear is facing the people I'm talking to. Uh, it's really awkward when you're when you're with somebody and you're like, "Oh yeah, I can hear you, great, yeah." So. So I try to sit on the other side. Uh, when my wife and I go on walks and hold hands, I put her on my left side so I can hear her. <laughs> if I don't want to hear her, I put her on my right side. It's great. No, I'm just kidding. Since the last time I checked in, I went through therapy. So with the therapy, I worked on my balance, occupation, and speech. So of those three, uh, speech was by far the hardest. Um, we, they had me hooked up to a, an electrode machine that would shock my face uh, to try to stimulate muscle movement um, and kind of retrain those, or first off, to keep the muscles from getting atrophy or whatever, where they don't do anything. Um, and then secondly, to kind of help the nerves go, oh yeah, zap, zap, you know. So. <laughs> When I would do that, they, they'd start it low and they'd give me the button. And I, you know, while I was sitting there, I'd just like punch, punch, punch the button and increase the shock uh, and like try to beat my high score. I don't know what I was doing, but um, they wanted it to be where I felt like a little uncomfortable um, and I was set on getting better. So I just kept hitting the button. Um, but while I was doing that, in addition to getting shocked in the face, um, they gave me some worksheets with different facial expressions on them. So I would um, look at the paper and try to make those face faces. Well, I mean, you're sitting in a room, there's a couple people, they're looking at you making weird faces, and you don't even know if you're doing it right. So uh, I eventually asked for a mirror so that I could hold up the mirror and see the facial expressions I was making. Um, and they were mostly like, you know, pucker, and you know squint and grit your teeth and do these weird things with your lips and cheeks and um, so as I'm doing those things I can look at myself and see the the lack of symmetry in my face and I could as I was as I was trying to get this side stronger I could also kind of reteach myself maybe don't smile so big on one side um, to balance it out. So uh, a lot of what I did was I would try to lead with my right side. Uh, like if I'm gonna do, if I'm gonna smile, I'd like really focus on that side and not worry so much about the other side. And that kind of gave me some balance. So uh, sitting there getting shocked, holding the mirror, making weird faces, um, 
but it really pushed me to to kind of get back to normal so so with uh, vestibular therapy I worked on my balance I worked on um, standing on a balance ball and you know running around dribbling a ball and uh, just like you know um, looking from here to there to here to there back and forth um, they also had me doing like look from one target to the next and switch um, because with the balancing that made that difficult and you need that skill to drive uh, you need that skill to work um, and it was it was kind of challenging but I was able to 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 get to a point where I can switch pretty quickly and um, I was able to pass out of all my therapies so I, I just kind of went in with a positive attitude and I went in and I said I'm gonna get through this as quickly and as efficiently as possible I'm gonna do my homework <laughs> which is not like me um, and I'm going to you know get back to normal so I I really strived for that um, out of everything if I were to say what did I you know what did I really learn from this experience it's to stay positive and uh, if anything I would share with you is just stay stay positive like you know I, I feel like even if it was worse than what I went through I could I would have been tempted not to be positive but um, like just the benefits outweigh the the negatives you know the negatives of being negative <laughs> so yeah so that 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 was my recovery um you know my wife was great my kids were great through it um understanding like i get tired and want to rest and um you know she would take them to the park and let them get their energy out um and let me have some peace and quiet so there there, were, there was a lot of help from there um I'm really glad that, you know, that kind of, that chapter of my life is kind of closed. Now I'm just on a once a year, it's kind of like my Christmas present. I go and I get, um, a, you know, $4,000 MRI. So uh, I, I don't know if the Christmas present is for me or for the hospital, but um, somebody is benefiting. <laughs> so um, yeah, they do, a, they do an MRI with contrast and they monitor the tumor for if there's any residual tumor tissue. So the tumor was removed um, but there's still a chance that things could grow back and they just want to watch that and I totally get it. Um, with, with my hearing, I went to my ENT and talked to him about hearing aids. So he recommended a, um, a bone anchored hearing aid, which is, it's like a post that's back behind my ear and the hearing aid snaps on there. So that was like a outpatient surgery where they put a little screw in in my skull and and then I got you know later I could get the hearing aid to snap on there um, it helps it doesn't help in louder situations like if if I'm out to dinner um, there's so much noise like I don't most if it, if it were to help I would need an earplug because my one eardrum is doing all the work and it's getting these now two signals and trying my brain trying to figure that out and doesn't really work very well um, in those situations um, when I'm in a quiet environment and somebody says something on my right side yeah I, I can hear them enough to either figure out what they said or say what <laughs> which when I don't have the hearing aid it's it's uh oh you're talking like I didn't even hear you so um, well, one thing I noticed that's terrible with only having one ear working is if you lose your phone and you make it ring um, because the the two ears help you like triangulate 
where things are coming from. So like my phone ringing, I could walk in circles and it, it, never find it. Um, another thing that's gotten me a ton is like, hey dad, can you help me? And then I walk to the wrong end of the house because I have no idea where they're, tuck they're yelling from. Um, so those are some of the, the situations where I, I'm, my handicap is actually showing through. So, um, but in general, it's been a great or good experience. I wouldn't say great, like you know, bad things or things like life circumstances like this shouldn't be great, but um, I feel like I've done what I can to make them better. So that's my update. Um, I just wanted to thank everybody who has commented on my other videos. Uh, I really appreciate the, the comments. I also appreciate the community. Um, a lot of people have come to me now saying that they are going through the same thing. And um, I just, I wish them the best. And I, I, I'll, I'll be positive for them. Uh, it really helps me not feel alone in this. And um, it also, you know, it's cool that I'm able to share my experience and possibly help other people. I know my situation could be different from the next. I really think that if somebody's going through this, they can make the best of it. And um, that's what I tried to do, and that's what I continue to do. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. Um, and if you like this type of video and wanna see more, let me know in the comments. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. So thanks for stopping by. I'll see you around.